So, we all know that Blender 4.0 was a milestone release and this came with a good set of features and tools. In fact, it did solidify a few tools and also enhanced a few more with interesting updates to both workflow and various operations. This release was well received by the community and with the announcement of Blender 4.1 in Alpha, this also came with a high level of expectation and excitement as one of the major tools and features that everyone looks forward to was EV Next. EV Next was introduced to the Blender community as a rewrite of EV, which was one of the groundbreaking features that substantiated a lot of migration of both indie and small studios to Blender sometime in 2018-2019. And this came alongside the announcement and release of Blender 2.8, which was very pivotal to the acceptance of Blender as it offered artists a real-time renderer that was more focused on speed and interactivity while achieving the goal of rendering physically based material. And Eevee stole the minds of a lot. And with the rewrite of Eevee, features lacking from the Uber version were promised to come over to Eevee next. And this included more light usage, screen space reflection and refraction, subsurface scattering, displacement, and vector displacement, which we've already covered on the channel. So, just in case you'd like to check that one out, you can definitely go ahead and see it. Improved emission, materials, and so on. And with all of this being proposed, everyone was already anticipating and expectant. But upon revision of the release note, as we prepared for the beta release of 4.1, it turns out that the EV and viewport section of the release note were blanked out, as EVDEX had been considered not fit to deploy for this release, pushing the release of this highly anticipated tool to version 4.2 instead, which is an LTS. And just like major updates and features implemented in Blender in the past, this comes as a bittersweet announcement. And of course, it brings to mind a couple of things that have been proposed over the years that took literally three to five different releases before they saw the light of day. And some of these things, of course, includes the Cycles X, Geometry Nodes, the Viewport Compositor, and so on. This, on one hand, brings an idea of asking several questions about the product, the tool, and also the developers. And one to which I would say is creating stuff which is extremely good or something that would be consumed by a whole lot of people takes a lot of time and doing it the right way that fits into the pipeline of something that is already existing even takes more time so i would urge the developers to actually take as much time as they can to get the right things done it is better to get it done later and get it done well rather than shipping a half big tool in the guise of giving the people what they want, which at the end of the day would not be to the best interest of either the people or even Blender itself. And if you head over to the announcement page, you can read what the new holdbacks and updates are. So you can go ahead and read up why the postponement is happening, what would happen next, why EV next would not be shipping with 4.1 as experimental. And this boils down to two things. Experimental options that are released should be part of the manual, making the manual more confusing for users. And this is definitely going to change things. Most of the things there might actually be temporary. Another thing there is community tutorials. So in most cases, community tutorials would either discuss things that has to do with Eevee and can be confusing because if you're using the vanilla version of Eevee and not the Eevee Next, you may probably not be able to follow up with it and some of these things might change over time which would cause for some sense of inconsistency over time. And of course, if you'd like to check out the timeline of release, which in most cases gets slightly moved forward to compensate for proper development, then links to that would also be in the description. So this is it. Currently, EVNX has been postponed to Blender 4.2 and just like Cycles X, which changed the way we use Cycles and brought about significant productivity within and outside the viewport for both previews and renders, EVNX is poised to do the same. And of course, if you're wondering where to grab some of the updates, the patches, and also try out EV Next in its experimental form, then you can definitely go over to the experimental page and check all of this out. And it's also quite interesting to note that the experimental page, the Blender community page, and also a lot of other pages like the release note pages and so on, they now have a facelift. So it is pretty different from what we used to know, and it is a welcome development, and I'm up for all of this. So tell me what you guys think about all of this in the comment section. Are you up for the fact that EV Next has been postponed? How does that make you feel? Are you excited about the upcoming features? And tell me what features in 4.1 are you looking forward to? I'd like to know all your thoughts about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.